these religions that uh, are uh, cultish, and I think it's fair, fair to say, you know, that these um, cults of belief are oftentimes driven by a singular charismatic figure. Now, we may not see the person as charismatic, but it is true that when you look at the Donald Trump charisma, the attraction, it follows the connect the dots that you do with other major religious faiths and cults of belief. So you begin to accept whatever the cult leader says, whatever the doctrine is, you just accept it. As Joseph Smith, who founded Mormonism, he was just a fast talker, man. He was a, a con man. Now you may, if you're a Mormon, you'll say, well, he was a con man that the Lord finally found and he became the vessel through which the Lord spread the word. Okay. But I'm just saying, you can look at everything about Joseph Smith and say, come on, dude. It's, you know, Jesus came to America. And I mean, it's just a, it's in the Garden of Eden is in Missouri. And I mean, it's just a, it's a bit, I mean, that's, that's not even scratching the surface. But you could say that about any religion. You can drill down on any fact and go, come on, dude. You know, raising the dead. And I mean, come on. I mean, it's, and Scientology, same thing. It was a singular figure, this L. Ron Hubbard, who began to animate interest. So that interest became cultish. It reached a certain tipping point, and they were able to create momentum, the momentum of a religious faith and the fervor of a religious faith. And then they got tax exempt status, et cetera. And then the older faiths that are all grandfathered in. But, uh, Certainly Mormonism and Scientology are two of the newer ones. But I just think about the cult of Trump and how it, it, feels it is a religious fervor. It? Yeah. yeah, it's a religious fervor. Those people mm -hmm. will accept whatever Trump says, his real believers. And they're not small in number. They are a huge group. And again, many despots, many fascist dictators started with the small numbers but with their own style and their own charisma, they drove that dynamic into power, political power and cultural power. I don't think Trump has charisma, says Hanny. Even back before he became president, I didn't think so, although I had nothing against him back then. JFK and Obama had charisma. Uh, it may be that he doesn't land for you, but I think you can't deny he has something. If you think charisma is the wrong thing that, to, to call it, then all right. But he's got something, you know. Uh, he's shameless, right? You can see him making it up in the moment. To, to me, he's like a magician doing all the sleight of hand slowly and all the cards are face up. It's so obvious what he's doing. Yeah. Yet people love him. Hi, it's Mark, and I thought that was great. Hit the notification bell, you'll know whenever there's a new video being dropped, and please subscribe to our channel to help us save the universe.